Hi everyone, I'm Roger Dubert and I'm here with Steve Openlander. Today we're going to assemble the 750 stole flapper on section. In the kit, pretty much everything is a match tool kit. The spars, the ribs, and the skin. There's only a few items that's not pre-drilled and that would be the, the hinge sections. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to click of the skeleton section to the skin. Now you've already pre-assembled this section together, correct? Yes, we have. Yes, we went ahead and started riveting uh, the ribs together. We just, to speed it up a little bit. Right. Uh, typically you would go ahead and clinkle your rear ribs and your nose ribs and then you can start riveting. The only thing that you're going to have to line up and drill is the hinge brackets themselves. So we're going to slide it in on the, in the skin. And the skin again is supplied pre-drilled, pre-formed, just like you see right here. Exactly. Okay, Steve. And here we're just using what, 1 8 inch Clecos? Correct, number 30. And if you want to, before you assemble it, you can corrosion proof it. Uh, but this is 6061T6, so it's very uh, corrosion resistant. I see. And uh, so you're doing this on a level workbench, obviously, like all the other sections of the airplane. Level workbench, make sure it's good and flat, no twisting your table. Uh, you also, on a, a piece like this, if you're going to have plecos on both sides, you want to make sure you have your beams on your table to protect your skin from your plecos. If you would turn this inverted, and set it on your Clico. You need to put a smiley bend around right. around the Clico and uh, make sure your skin looks up. Yes. Okay. So now Steve's gonna turn the assembly over, and we're gonna Clico the top side, the the ribs and the spar. And then after that, then we can flip it over and Clico the leading edge skin down. And again, these are all final hole size match drilled. So yes. Yes. No additional drilling. Just Clico it together. And then uh, we're going to go from plate going to final riveting, correct? That is correct. Which is eighth inch rivet, which is an A4 rivet. And again, we're working on the flaperon section on the airplane. And the flaperon, again, that's the aileron control flap section on these high wing full airplanes. This is the outboard section. And right, and the flaperon sections, as we can see, they're split up into two two sections, which, which makes it a lot more manageable while you're working, doesn't it? Right, and the reason they're split in two sections is, is when Chris designed the 701 or 750, he didn't want to make it very complicated for customers building a twist in the wing, the all jigs and fixtures. So what you do is you build two sections and then you offset the outboard for the stall characteristic. Okay, we're ready to turn that back over. And so again, the nose skin is uh, is preformed, and the, so now you're going to be pulling it back on Correct. that section. Now, in order to do this, we use a, a one by board. Now I have cut out notches in this to avoid the uh, the brackets. You can do this by yourself, but this is the job you really, really want to help. One person to roll the skin, and the other person to clean coat. Are you ready? Yes. So not difficult, you're just pulling back on it to be able to pull back that skin, correct? Yes. And you could build, you know, use straps and skin on the table, but it's just a lot quicker if you got a free hand. You know, get the family involved. You know, have your wife or your kids come out and help you clinkle the section together. They don't have to spend all day out in the garage to help you. Yeah, it looks like a pretty simple task, but I definitely uh, see the advantages of having the, the proper equipment, the beam there, as well as, a, as a, somebody to hold it in place. And what are you doing? Every other hole here? Just start it in the middle and then every other hole. Work your way out. That's great. And then you want, as you're building these sections, you want to follow your step-by-step -step photo manual and you want to follow your, your uh, drawings, this 11 by 17 drawing that's supplied in the kit. So pretty much all the steps that we're doing here, this is covered in the photo assembly guide, isn't it? Exactly. And yeah, I you know, see that. Uh, if you have any questions, you always go to your drawing first. And the drawing, that's the actual blueprint, correct? And that really has every little detail in here, everything that we're doing. That is correct. 
And drawings are great to have, but they really don't tell you when or how to do things, do they? Exactly. And you know, there's so many different sequences that you can build these sections in. There's not a right or wrong way. You'll develop your own technique and sequence. Uh, just like when you came to the rudder workshop and, and you built the rudder. You know, we started out with a little sequence, but each customer is going to develop their own skill and uh, how to assemble it. Yeah. yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to attach the, the root end and the outboard end. So this is the root end, and this is all matched hole, ready to install. And we already have uh, a, a tab on there that's already matched hole to the spar. Now you could go ahead and, and attach it to one side, but I like installing it now. It's a lot easier. Wow, that comes together well, doesn't it? Oh, yes. The advantage of our modern CNC equipment. For sure. Our, our CNC equipment is what allow us to make our kick match drill. And then Steve on the other end, the outboard side. Now we have we have drilled this, uh, put our, our holes in here. We also trimmed the, the front in order to get a nice tight fit on the front. Stick it in there, find the hole. And that's just a plastic end piece, basically a non-structural, it's more for cosmetic purposes, Correct. isn't it? Yeah, Correct. it looks nice. Now you've seen us put this together and the only two places we used to drill was on our cosmetic wing tip here and on the uh, brackets, which is where your attachment point is to adhere to the airplane. Well, that's great. So that's pretty much a complete section now, isn't it? It is. So and now we're ready to start riveting. And, and how we'll long have... would that take, riveting this section together now? 20 minutes. Yeah, so that goes quickly, doesn't it? That's really nice. And this is section one of four for the entire airplane, correct? Correct. Yes. All right. Thanks, Roger and Steve. You're welcome. Final stage here is going to be riveting the flapper on skin together. First install the rivets. And then we're going to use our pneumatic riveter, which we have our custom rivet heads that are countersunk. So it'll put a nice dome finish over the rivet. We're using about 90 PSI.
to finish assembly. Got three more to go.